So, today I thought of doing a little teardown video of this. It's an old uh, robot toy-ish something that I had uh, when I was younger. And uh, I found it uh, in a box uh, recently. And I thought, uh, hey, I can just tear it apart and, you know, see what's inside and stuff like that. So, it, uh, I haven't tested it now. There are no batteries. It's, you know, the old big uh, batteries. I believe they are called D batteries or something. At least it says so inside. Uh, so it's uh, 3 volts in each leg. Uh, 6 volts in total. So you have the batteries uh, down here. So it's a lot of weight. You have the arms. Also it's uh, joint here. And that is motorized. You have all these other movement things. And uh, it works. And uh, yeah. Really cool, a cool uh, robot. So um, I have no clue how to disassemble it. Uh, there are some screws around here, so I might just have to, you know, start at the bottom or something. Uh, so I guess I'll just start tearing it apart, and uh, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, so we got the top disassembled. I found out that that was probably easiest. This is just an empty cover. And here we have the on off switch and also the speaker in the back. And look at that. That's simply brilliant. So, from what I can see, it's actually wires going in this uh, these small cables uh, that are all around the robot. Uh, for example, you have uh, hair and hair. So, it's actually very nice layout with connectors and wires. So, that's better than what I've expected. So it looks like there's one more here and here to control the up and down. And if I zoom in here you might be able to see the up down action. Yeah. And actually it looked like the head is turning as well but I don't know. And this action could probably be made uh, uh, like continuous, but uh, I guess the cable is in the way. So yeah, but any anyway, that's really cool. And also there is this, this microphone in front here, so that's neat. So. Better start uh, or keep on with the disassembly. So I managed to get off this one cover here. Just snapped it off, and it looks like uh, there were some guiding pins in here that were uh, glued together uh, while assembly. So what remains now is the arm, and of course. It has a neat little connector, so actually repairing this uh, robot seems a lot easier than what I thought at first because there are just connectors and I guess you can buy these here 
not off the shelf uh, probably, but maybe if you contact them or something. So let's see here if we can. Yeah, they are glued during uh, assembly, as you can see here. There are some glue, and then we come to the masterpiece itself. Now, this I like. This is the hand, and uh, not sure how, how this works. It looks like okay. So when I pull out the arms, you can see that the piece inside there is moving. This little black stuff. So that's just an ordinary gripping arm and uh, yeah so turning this turning this will open and close the arm and also uh, it is connected to the arm here like that and this is then again connected in here so uh, this uh, pitch or whatever movement will also open the claw because it's the same motor but I quite like the gearbox layout and stuff looks looks very nice this little pin on top here is what pushes in the black plastic piece that opens the the gripper okay let's move on so after some more disassembling you can see that I can hopefully slide the upper body off the rest of the robot. Okay, there's one wire that needs to be disconnected. Like that. Yeah. So now the upper body, sorry, now the upper body is separated and as you can see uh, there are a few connectors going down and from what I can see there are four pairs, uh, five, six, seven pairs. So these uh, remaining are uh, the switches in the foot. So just pull those out and we have the upper body and uh, I th I'm thinking of using this on maybe an Ar Arduino, Arduino project uh, but we'll see I kind of like you know having the you know just bare plastic look maybe taking off and maybe creating some other arms or something but you know We'll see. Anyway, we have we still have the uh, rest here, and as you can see, uh, this motor actually moves itself as it moves the hip, and uh, that's something I think is quite nice. So there's just some gears in here that are connected uh, here, and then the motor is clamped to the body. Uh, here, so when you turn it on, it's apparently the gearbox and everything is strong enough so you can move the whole upper body. So that's quite a good design, I think. Behind here, we have all the wires coming down, this goes down to the foot, and we have both the uh, motor motor wires here. 
I can zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit more of what I'm talking about. Yeah, one, two, three motors. So even these are uh, hinged. I'm not 100% sure why they did that, but maybe because this is uh, too long to get it. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's see if we can disassemble maybe the covers and maybe find out how this uh, the f gearbox to the feet work. So I managed to get off the last cover, or at least the one on this side. So it's another mechanical design here. As you can see, uh, we have uh, one that is fixed and one that has an op output to the uh, motor gearbox. The, mo uh, the motor is here as you can see and there's a gearbox and the shaft goes out and connects to I believe this one but I'm not completely sure. I believe this is fixed. As you can see when I hold this still and move this foot you can see that uh, it kind of pivots on this and kind of pushes this and that is what creates the moving action. So the way I believe this robot uh, works is by changing the direction of the weight. You know you have a lot of weight in the upper body. So let's say I move it to this side then this foot will come off the floor and I uh, energize this motor leaving the motor to step forward and then I push the body to the other side putting the weight on this foot then I draw this forward then I put the uh, energize the tilting motor which leads to this falling over and that's how it work, uh, works basically so it's a fantastic design I think uh, Actually, I haven't realized how it actually uh, works. I can just remember that when I was a kid, it kind of worked like this. So it's actually, 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 this is, you know, I believe the key part of making this work. So as long as you have a solid base, you no, know, a big foot with kind of rubber. Uh, yeah, whatever, some rubber <laughs> on the foot, and this is on this side, you know, with maybe, maybe even these are energized the opposite way at the same time or something, or maybe, yeah, I don't know, but you can, can make it go you know, kind of slow and also fast, so, yeah. Kind of interesting design. This, tilts over, blah blah blah. You probably get it, but, yeah, I think it's a great design. So, what I would like from this robot is that the upper body was more, uh, you know, kind of, better designed like when I open this joint as I try to explain uh, with this you know twisting this will open the uh, so there should be separate motors for for this but you know we already have one two three four five six seven seven motors I believe yeah seven motors or three Four, five, six, yeah, seven motors. So that's—I wouldn't say it's a lot, but uh, you know, it's, it's just a toy, and yeah. I remember that it was—I think, yeah, it was like 
a big thing for me to own this robot because it was kind of <laughs> kind of expensive and now it's all in pieces but anyway I have now seen this how it works it's spring loaded hair and hair for extra smooth action and the foot is kind of like I, th I think this is it's an easy design but still it's super smart and I have not you know looked up many robots or I'm not a, a robot guru in, in any in any way but uh, I don't think other robots you know move uh, the same way correct me if I'm wrong uh, I'm open to <laughs> learning but uh, yeah, I kind of like this design very good, and now I can I feel like I can make a robot. So <laughs> I better put that project on my list. At least I have a lot of gearbox and stuff that I can use. So thank you for uh, watching me. You know, talk talk uh, really good English and. Uh, Disassembling my childhood best toy ever. So uh, yeah, if you like what you what you see, just give me a thumbs up and just tell me that I'm on the right way. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, want me to kind of disassemble more or maybe take some photos or stuff, just comment or yeah, just contact me. Okay, see ya.